Oh, no sh What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Just want to take a minute to talk about today's sponsor, Fly Fishing International. It's a Toronto-based travel agency that specializes in fly fishing travel. If you guys want to know more about Fly Fishing International, check it out. I'll leave it in the description down below. Without wasting any more of your guys' time, let's get right into the video. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoy. Welcome back to part two of the BC series. Our second and final leg of this adventure takes us to the heart of the Canadian Rockies where we chase bull trout as they feed on what's left of the Kokanee Run. On our way south, we made a quick pit stop to visit our friend Rob, where he showed us some of his bull trout grounds. After that, we continued south where we met with local guide Cam, where he took us to some of his bull trout holes and spent the day learning about their pursuit for bull trout. So we arrived to our next shooting location. Our target species is bull trout. We're gonna be using spay rods, similar to what we were doing with our buddy Rob there up in Treble Stoke. And it sounds like we've got some big bull trout to work with out here. So if the stars align and we get a good bite going, We'll get some good action for you. Maybe get a couple of hookups on camera. That's always a good time. And then it's further south for us after this. But for now, we're going to try to go catch ourselves some bull trout, get them on camera, and have a good time with it. This water clarity is like, oh, it's incredible. Crazy landscape. Oh, no sh no sh dude. I got it on GoPro, but like, holy sh That was insane. Okay. That was incredible. Oh, come on. After an awesome day fishing with Cam, we hopped on the road and headed further south where we'd meet up with our buddy Brando from the Kootenays so he can show us some of his home waters. Our first day here in the Kootenays with Brandon was spent on a float tube drifting for cutties and the odd cut boat. Being that it was later in the season, the fish were a little bit sluggish to start off in the morning, but as the day progressed, things got a little spicy and the fish started coming up. 
start picking apart the shoreline, all the boulders. They're just thinking those little fingers and teams here. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, who is it? Nice! Marge. Not a bad one. She noisy. Should I bag and tag? Like on the shallow side? Oh, I'm on. Big one. Oh, I'm on. Big one. That's a big one. That's a nice one, no? Yeah. On the whopper. Okay, all ready, all ready. Nice scoop, dude. Oh, that's a beauty. Guys, super cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah, dude. There's a nice one. Oh, there's a nice one. So a little context for this next sequence of shots. Brandon had said this corner usually produces pretty well, so we uh, decided I'd jump out and run down and kind of get a, a little vantage point of the, uh, the boys coming down. See if I get a really cool shot of like the fly in front of the camera with the angler in the background or something like that. And <laughs> we got it. I mean, we had three opportunities to make it happen. Unfortunately, all three did not stick. But it was just comical because I don't know what was going on. Gil was excited or something, but he kept standing up every time he'd set the hook. And um, yeah, Brandon was not having any of it. Okay, oh, for three, dude. Three peaks through there. It was all good laughs. The boys were just having a good time. That's the unit. I'm on the wrong side of the I can't do it. Listen to the calm here, Dan. That is a unit, Dan. Dude. That might be like for good. He'll come in and be able. To, you'll be able to stand him up to me, right? Yeah. If this one wakes up, it's gonna be wild, though. I don't know if he's gonna wake. Yeah, I'm gonna slowly. He gets He gets That was a very large. That was a rainbow. Yeah. Either a couple or a rainbow. That was a very big fish. Uh, mm. Right on that fucking seam up there. Jesus Murphy. I seen it and I was like, like 22, that doesn't eh? look right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He wasn't even fighting. How'd he pop no, off? He's fighting like who? <laughs> that was a big rainbow. Awesome. Or big, whatever. Oh yeah. <laughs> we go get the schedule right, right now. Right, right, right. Oh, there's this. The whitefish are snapping, man. By the end of the day, we were all pretty tired, having laughs, shooting the breeze, and reminiscing a beautiful day on the river. Damn! <laughs> you scooped the thing!
Wild turkey. Oh yeah, nice. Have you thrown it before? No, never have. The flesh on. Day two, we had our friend Curtis, a local photographer in the town of Fernie, come through and meet us at one of Brando's bull trout spots, where we captured some pretty epic moments fishing for bull trout. Despite all the events that occurred in 2020, I feel extremely fortunate to have been able to experience BC at this level. Thanks to everyone who was involved in this project, thanks to Gills Fly Fishing International, and thanks to my viewers for continuing to come and watch my videos. My crowd is small but mighty, and I do appreciate all the support you guys have given over the years. Thanks a bunch, and we'll see you guys in the next clip.